523 on Sunday morning. We have awoken at 4.54 a.m. to Jamie savagely punching himself in the head and having back-to-back -back weird seizures that we've never really seen before. Gave him 10 milligrams of diazepat. Diazepat stopped the seizures, but did, did not stop this. Come on. Trying to protect his ear which was damaged before in the group home. His eyes are wild. He has a weird look on his face. About two days ago, he was laughing hysterically. He was happy. Okay. There's been no major changes. We cannot for the life of us figure out why the heck he's hitting himself right now. Left this way, this way, no. No, now he's grabbing the camera right now. Uh-uh. Down. Obviously that's not working, so we have no other choice. I mean, we can't hold them for five hours. We can't seem to get any doctors to figure out what the hell is wrong with our son. We have been going to doctors for 17 years trying to figure out, and every time we go, all they do, here, here's another psychotropic drug for your child. Well, he's on Risperdal right now. He's still hitting himself. He's been on like 14, 15 different psychotropic. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I can't get doctors to help me, so I have to spend 19 hours a week researching stuff myself because I can't get a doctor to put in the effort, time, and the compassion to help us. I mean, they seem like they try, but they spend, you know, 30 seconds with a drive-by analysis, and then they split, they go back to their next a point, you know, patient and leave us alone to just deal with it over and over and over again. We can't get any comprehensive, pervasive help. So we just have to keep enduring, keep going through it. 